So today we're gonna go ahead and install the Kingston uh, 480 gig SATA drive into the MPC61 keyboard. This is the drive I decided to get. Seems more popular. I did buy a uh, another drive here somewhere made by Crucial, but it was a 256 and uh, I was happy to see that there was a 480 for even cheaper. And this one seems to be pretty fast. So let's get started. I have a Phillips screwdriver, it's a machine screwdriver. It's pretty sharp there. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up these four screws. Feels like they um, were pretty easy to get out. There's one, let's get the other one out. But what I noticed about the MPC is that it did come with four extra screws in case you lose these ones. So um, take a look at your packaging so you don't throw it out with the box. I usually keep the box and all of its uh, instructions just in case I wanna resell it. It looks nice, here we go. Now there's a lot of videos out there that do this, but I wanted to film it myself. So let's go ahead and put these screws down. All right, let's go ahead and open this up here. Let's kind of use my screwdriver to kind of open that lid. So there's the uh, lid and um, here's the uh, unit that you need to plug in. We'll put this aside, take this tape off for a moment. Put that aside. And now we get to open up this guy here. It is now I think it goes this way but um, yeah it does so we're just gonna go ahead and snap it to you here it go click yep there it is and then this thing slides right in I think yeah there you go and that fits pretty snug in there and now we're gonna go ahead and put the plate back on and I wasn't sure if there was a specific way to do it, it just yeah you know, it just goes right on and here we go gonna put the screws back in one by one. I made the mistake of not getting a, um, a magnetic screwdriver here. There we go, not too tight. Don't want to strip the screws. And I usually go zigzag so the plate fits and nice and snug. There we go. Now I'm not sure about the formatting. I believe these are formatted in XFAT. Um, I can always reformat it once you plug it into the computer. That is the keyboard, of course. You put it in uh, computer mode and the drive will show up on your computer and then you could take it into disk utility if you're on a Mac and the Windows, whatever you guys use to format your drives. But that's it and we're all done. And again, I just bought the Kingston A400, which is 480 gigabytes, um, solid state drive. So there you go. Okay, now that we have it installed, we're gonna fire it up and see if the drive is recognized by the MPC key 61. So let's go ahead and fire it up here, push the button in, just give it a moment here. Now I'm fairly new to the Akai world. Um, my brother uses this, um, I'm a Logic guy, so I use everything in box and I have a bunch of synthesizers, but um, when I got this MPC, I wanted to max out the capabilities of it and um, I uh, could have got probably a 512 in here, but for the deals that are there online, um, memory storage is pretty cheap. So the 480 will definitely fit the bill. And it was recommended and most popular uh, when you look it up on some tutorials and also some literature from the FAQ on uh, MPC's website. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can try to get this working. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an empty project. And the key here is just to make sure that we can actually save to that drive and not the internal or the thumb drive that I have in the back here. So there's a thumb drive here. Um, thumb drive is a little slower. So, um, so let's go ahead and go to main and actually go to menu. And then we're gonna go hit the save button. And then we're gonna go save a project as, uh-oh, yeah. So it's not showing up here. I just have my internal and then Andrew's um, uh, thumb drive here. So what we need to do here is we need to hit cancel. And um, I believe we need to click on the MPC up here and put it in controller mode because now we need to take it into the computer to reformat the drive. Hopefully that uh, is my thought process here. So, all right. Okay, so something just popped up. It looks like, um, do you want logic? No, I'm gonna go don't use. So now the keyboard is being seen by the computer. Oh, there it goes. The disc, you attached was not readable by this computer. Okay, so we're gonna click 
uh, initialize. Now I'm on a Mac because I use Logic Pro, so we're gonna go ahead and hit initialize. And I believe that will open up disk utility. If not, there it is. And um, this particular drive, uh, the name of it is uh, Generic Media. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click Erase. Uh, let's go ahead and rename that drive. We're gonna call it um, uh, 480 SSD. Okay. Um, and then we'll go ahead and change it from APFS, which is Apple's uh, format. We're gonna choose XFAT and then we're gonna click the erase button. So here we go. All right. All right, looks like it unmounted the drive and it's remounting it, and it looks like it was done. So if all is well, this drive should show up on my desktop, which it doesn't yet. Oh, nope, there it just popped up. So there's the 480 drive. And what I like to do with this is I can open this up now it will open up, there we go. So I have an empty drive. And if you have expansion packs that you have on the Mac or PC uh, in the MPC Studio software, you can actually locate those and drag them here. And once they're here, they will show up here. So now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and go back into main. I'm gonna click back onto our menu, click on the computer and put it back into standalone, okay. I know I'm bouncing around here, but I want to make sure that this is showing up as a standalone. Give it a moment. All right, so we're going to go empty project. Okay, and then I'm going to go to menu again. And then we're going to save the project and we're going to go save pro uh, project save as. And there it is. Now I can select that SSD drive and it is installed correctly. So there you have it. That's how you install the SSD uh, SATA drive on an MPC. Uh, key 61 and you can do the same thing on the MPC one um, Standalone as well. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like what you saw, please uh, like and follow. Take care